Welcome to this new video in which we are going to look at how to solve a battleships puzzle. Um, now, here's the instructions. Um, there's various ships um, of different lengths, one composed of four segments, two of three, three of two and four of one segment, and these must all be placed in this square grid. The numbers around the edge of the grid tell you how many ship segments there are in that row or column. So for instance, this one has got five segments in it. This one has none at all. Um, and every ship, um, when placed, must be surrounded by water on all sides, including diagonally, which we will go through and mark shortly um, with X's. OK, so let's get started. So the obvious place to start when solving a battleship is to look for any zero rows and columns like these two here, because you know that they contain no ships at all. So I'm just going to mark them in with an X. Some people might put a dot or if you're feeling arty, you could put wave symbols in to indicate water. And next we're going to look at the ship segments that are already placed in the, in the grid. Um, now uh, we can see that uh, with the way the puzzle is displayed, ships of just a single piece, often called submarines, are represented as a circle and none of the other ships have circles therefore we know those are complete ships and therefore we can surround them with water and in fact looking at this sub here um, we have one there so we've got the one square place so let's cross off the rest of the region and cross off that submarine so we know it's placed here we can mark all the water around this submarine and again that was the only ship segment placed in that column and we have another sub here so we'll also mark in all the water around that one with X's so it's nice and clear and we now only have one sub left to place now with the um, orientation of this triangle we can see it can't be a three or four length ship because it's the edge of the boat so therefore it must consist of two squares so it's like this and that's placed and so we can mark the water around that likewise here we have the same thing that's the only option. This must be part of a ship of at least two squares. Well, it can be at most two squares because there's an X there. And we can mark in the water around it. We now have our three. Marked there. OK, so now let's look at this bottom row, um, which contains four ship segments in total and there's four squares left so in fact we know where they must be there's only one option this must be one of our ships that contains three segments and this is a ship segment two and in fact we can see that we had a one here and we've placed the sub so it must be a single square ship and we've placed all our submarines in the grid. Uh, now let's look at what we've placed. So this is a one. So we can cross off that as we have the ship segment there. This is a one. So we can cross off the there. Um, okay, so we know that there is one ship to place composed of four segments. So a good way to make progress when solving um, these puzzles is often to work out where you can place those biggest ships. So we can see that along here, the only number greater than four or equal to four is this five, but we've already got two ship placements there. Um, so if we had four more, that would take it to six. So it can't be there. So it can't be in any of these columns. And looking across the rows, the only one with a big enough number is the four here. Um, and therefore, we know that it must occupy these four squares and we can mark it in so let's do that uh, and so our battleship is placed 
So we only have two ships left to place now. Let's again fill in the water around that. Let's check our columns. Two. Three. Five. So that's going to complete here. So now we only actually have uh, one, one ship left to place, which is the three there. So this one is complete. This has got to have two. This has got to have three. So this is going to come down here. It's the only ship left, so it must also extend down here. Indeed, that will complete the two there. We have the four there. Okay, and that is how to solve a battleship's puzzle. So you can see we've placed 10 ships into the grid. The numbers around the edge are telling us how many ship segments there are in each row and column. And every ship segment, or every ship I should say, is surrounded by water on all sides, including diagonally, so that no ships touch each other at all. Um, and that's how to solve a battleship's puzzle. Hope you found that video useful. See you again soon.